Hey, what's up? It's Kevin Mano. What's going Andy on? Andy Grammer. This is like your home away from home, man. I love you're, it, man. You're, you do you have an office here yet? I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I stepped out of my office Boston. to say what you Because you live very close. Yeah. And one of the few people, I guess, that uh, we'll be having like a conversation, a topic on Valentine's Day. Yeah, I'll just give it a Andy, shout. I got my Andy own line. calls to participate. It's <laughs> just listening. It's awesome. I love it. Uh, happy Father's Day. Thank you so much. As See we well. filmed, thank you. As we filmed this, it's the day after Father's Day. So what did you do yesterday? How'd you celebrate it? Uh, my wife got me a shirt the, which has like a, <laughs> I don't know, she did some online thing. Thing. I took a photo of my daughter, and she she made a shirt with just my daughter's face, like splashed Aww. all over it, which is pretty sick. Put it up on my Instagram, and uh, my daughter was sick, so we watched Moana like four times. That thinks that she was sick, but the yeah. Moana thing is awesome. Yeah. I love Moana. And good, I good saw movie. you on your Instagram recently, you said, or on Twitter or something, you were talking about Tangled. Yes. See, we my wife loves Tangled. Yeah. But we showed it to to our daughter. I mean, maybe a month ago, so she's almost three. Okay. It terrified her. We got really? to the end of the movie, and I was like, babe, how'd you like the movie? She was like, there was bad stuff. How it. did she feel about Frozen? She loves Frozen. Really? Yes. No no fear from the snowman in Frozen. No, she she likes the snow monster, wow. and she likes the lava monster or Incredible. whatever in uh, in Moana. I, I threw up on my Instagram, like, Tangled's better than Frozen, like, go. That's, that's a bold <laughs> statement. And there was a lot of intensity, uh, but I stand by it. I, I don't even like know witty. what it was. I think it was, like, the guy getting stabbed yeah. or the fact that the woman stole the little kid. Like, something bothered her she psychologically. Didn't like she didn't you. care for that. Yeah. Um, I would like to start like a podcast or something of, of dads like us reviewing kids this is stuff. A gr- because it's really important because you have to watch it so many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The amount of times that you have to watch this movie. See, I think Moana is a great movie. Moana is so good; it holds up. Coco is Coco fantastic. is awesome. I've seen Coco like seventy-eight times. Are you guys into Boss Baby? No, I've seen. Boss oh Baby. my god, is Boss, it good? Boss Baby is genuinely a good movie. Okay, like it's the story is solid, beginning to end. Dude, it's honestly, great, I think we've stumbled onto something really good. I, I like this yeah, idea. This is a good idea. Uh, and then what about Frozen Two? Have you seen the trailer? I'm excited. This it is looks, the thing. Doesn't it look? I'm gonna have dark? to watch it. I'm gonna have to watch it. 80,000 times. So, I'm, like, when the trailer came out, me and my wife were like, this is exciting. Our intention was for that to be the first movie we take Molly to in the theater. Yeah. But I feel like it's too dark. Like, uh, they say. It looks they, pretty dark. They say they wanted it to kind of be a little more grown up for the kids that were very young when oh, the first one came out. Gotcha. So, I'm a little worried about that, yeah. especially after her reaction to Tangled. Yeah, yeah, I'm in. I think it's going to be cool. And my daughter yesterday, I'm sorry, this is all. I about can our go kids. forever on this. My daughter. Let's never end this. <laughs> then I want some parenting okay, advice. Yes, yes. You're, I think, a couple months behind me, but okay. yesterday we were at the farmer's market and I was talking to some guy that I knew. And she said, while he's there, she said, Does he have a big belly? Oh, and he does have a big belly. Yeah. This, this particular guy. So I didn't know how to navigate that because she's not aware of, you know, how people feel about their bodies and like self. How did the guy and, take it? Uh, he just kept moving. He Get was very moving. professional about it. I think you're allowed when you're, well, you know, if it's if it's sincere. Should I talk to her though? Should I say some people are self-conscious about? But she doesn't understand that concept. And I don't how want old she to. She'll be three in like two weeks. Yeah. I don't know. I think you let that one go. Just let her, because yeah. she likes. If it becomes like a thing. She likes big. Girls. You don't. Yeah, you don't want to become like a thing that she says every time. Right. But yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and I saw your poem. Speaking of dads and fathers and stuff, you're uh, you put it on your Instagram. Oh, and you yeah. said you've been doing it at shows. I yeah. thought that was awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. And man. it told me a lot about your dad. Yeah, my dad's incredible. My dad's a children's singer, Red Grammar, oh, Grammy nominated children's singer, and just a sweet, sweet guy. Okay, so is that what he was doing when you were a kid? Yeah, like, I grew up. Is that how he paid the bills? He and paid stuff? the bills. I grew up watching him go to uh, different like performing festivals and doing kids shows and they were called Red Days. My dad's name is Ray Grammer. So all the kids would wear red and learn all the songs. Mm-hmm. And I would show I would be around it and it's like how I learned to see how you can be an artist that that pays for your family. That yeah, way. that's cool. awesome. So was he always supportive when you were, you know, Santa Monica busking? With yeah, the... yeah. They both my mom and my dad were both like, of course you can do it, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Which that's... is amazing, honestly. A lot of a lot of people have to break through that barrier of like believing in themselves. Mm-hmm, totally. Their, you know, if their parents are like lawyers or something, they feel like they don't understand it. And yeah. My family was like, yeah, I mean, I I made my money being a kid singer. Well, how was uh, <laughs> what you know, not to get too personal or anything, but were you guys doing okay as a kid or you know? We we were fine. It was like. Totally, like, solid. Yeah. Like, like I was not poor growing up. We had plenty. It was great. Great. Yeah. Um, and I've known you for a long time. You've come by so many times, but I don't think we've ever asked you. You are related to Kelsey Grammer. I am. Right? What's yes. the relation there? I don't, so I've never my actually... dad's gr- grandfather, his brother, my dad, yeah, Kelsey's grandfather and my, da- my dad's grandfather were brothers. Okay. I don't know what that means. So was he in your life when you were growing up? No. Oh, not at all. No, we didn't like hang out, but we've texted and we've talked on the phone a bunch of times now. Really? I actually uh, valeted his car one time, 
And he and I was like, I'm a grammar. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like before any, <laughs> any of the success, you were before, working yeah, yeah. valet. I was doing valet, and I valeted his car, and I like tried to talk about it. But since then, we have talked on the phone. We we've been meaning to do dinner. What would be how? What's the catalyst for you guys to get on the phone then? I forget. There was like a mutual friend or someone that we worked with that like put us in touch, and he's a sweet, sweet guy. Did you watch Cheers growing up? Of course, Cheers and Frasier. Yeah, and, Frasier. Yeah, I love it. I was more of a Cheers guy than a Frasier yeah. guy, but it was still a great show. Yeah. Still, but I watched every episode of Cheers with my dad. Yes. Uh, awesome. And now his daughter Spencer is uh, Summer Rick and Morty. Oh morning. no, I don't. So cool. I feel like I showed a lot of people Dude, that Dude, you have to. It is the best. Like, I'm a big Run the Jewels fan. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I know Rick and Morty is very in the hip hop so world. It's so good, and... dude. It's so good. Okay, I'll take your uh, recommendation. But you're not watching it with your daughter. I oh, no, no. Actually, funny enough, I got into it what, right when we brought her home from the hospital and she'd stay up all night. I'd watch Rick and Morty while I was like, Oh, yeah. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are the movies you're looking forward to watching with your daughter? Like, I really want to watch mm. Back to the Future, but she's not there yet. And, like, The Matrix, but that's a ways away. A ways away. I'm, like, the biggest Pixar fan. Oh, you so are? Okay. All of them we're doing right now. We're yeah. getting it in. What, awesome. Give me some more, some suggestions. So, cause... Up is like, is, like, awesome. See, I haven't even seen Up. I've never seen Dude. Up. It seems like it'd be too sad. No. All those movies it, involve it's, death, it, though. It's sad for the first, like, five minutes, and then it's great. And it's important. You got to set it up. Um, Incredibles is great. I'm like the big. I mean, Monsters Inc. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. These are all like my jam. So, okay. Is yeah. she into the Minions? We haven't done that yet. Okay. Yeah. Those are good. Molly likes those. those. I want you to do one thing. Okay. Because I'm sure you know you're singing to your daughter and stuff. Did you guys read any of the Sandra Boynton books? N we, me, I, th I think we have. This is I the recognize going to the style. Book. Would yeah. you? Can you sing this? Sure. As if you would sing it to your daughter. Because I read this to. I read it to Molly when she was a baby. Now I sing it to. Or I read it to my. Wow. Son. Okay. It's very quick. It's a quick one. Okay. Cool. Or you just have to do a few pages. But okay. Just, I want to hear how it would sound to be a little bit sleeping baby, and my dad is Andy Grammer. <laughs> the sun is set not long ago. Now everybody goes below. You gotta see the pictures too, it's really sweet. To take a bath in one big tub with soap all over, scrub, scrub, scrub. That's kind of That's good. Yeah. Do you have any memorized? <laughs> Um, Any books, you think? No, but she, we're at the stage where she doesn't want me to read to her anymore. She wants to, I mean, if, you, if she's been through this. Yeah. Where she's like, no, I'll read it, I'll read it. And like, does she have a memorizer or is she just no, gibberish? No, she just makes it out. Just yeah, gibberish, yeah. Fantastic. We're going through a lot yeah. of that, too. Yeah. Uh, so the new album is out very soon. Very soon, man. Naive. Naive. Uh, I think that when you are, when you smile a lot, when you are positive, sometimes it is mistaken for uh, being stupid. I think oh. that that's what happens. So to me, this is a title that's like, yeah, I know that some people will take it that way, and I'm going to smile anyway because I think it's really important. That's interesting. Where do you yeah. uh, get that life lesson from? Because you're a very smiley guy. Yeah, I'm a smiley guy, and I've been just like, I'm always, I've been positive my whole life. And mm -hmm. I can sometimes tell that, like when, you, when, you're, when you're too bright, sometimes people are like, don't you get the, the world is like really dark? Mm -hmm. Why are you so bright? You must not know. It's like, yeah. no, I know, That's I just, really in spite of it, I decide to still try to shine. And again, I don't know the guy, but I feel like you get a lot of that from your dad, I would say your yeah, parents. Yeah, he is, yeah, both of them. A really yeah. positive outlook. Because if you haven't seen it, that Father's Day poem, it really, it meant a lot to me, because I love uh, my dad. My dad's you. a great, you, you know, so positive yeah. uh, person as well. But it's all about being a good person. You know, it's not like the fame and fortune is what makes you yeah. happy. It's yeah. uh, these uh, uh, steamable acts. Yeah, yeah, my, the, the poem's called My Father Does Not Care. And he just like literally doesn't. Yeah. It's kind of sweet. There have been moments where like, oh, you don't care, and then you realize like, oh, you only care about things about like my soul, my heart. That's amazing. Like that. It's cool. Have you taken him to any like huge performances or award shows? Yeah, or anything? of course. He and likes it. He likes it. He likes it. He has a good time. Yeah. You know, we did like a. I brought him on his first private jet the other day, like like uh, at some private show, and he's like, this is fun. Yeah. But he does like doesn't care. Right. And how lucky to have a dad that doesn't care. Sure. You know? That's amazing. It's cool. I'm happy for you, man. We're excited about the new album. It's yeah, out in you. July. Thank Andy you. Andy Grammer here Tour at My coming FM. Out. It's going to be awesome. And look for our podcast where we uh, review children's This movies. is a real thing. It's not a bad idea. I'm who not else, kidding. Who else can we get involved? We're doing Who's, this. Uh, oh, plenty. Okay. Plenty of people. The guy, the director of the movie that this song is in, Justin Baldoni, he'd okay. be great too. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Dad reviews. Coming soon. Awesome.